My name is Dr. Tucker. I'm one of the comprehensive and refractive surgeons at the Virginia Eye Institute. Uh, I specialize in cataract and refractive surgery. Uh, today we're going to be talking about refractive surgery. So the goal of refractive surgery is to eliminate your glasses or contacts. Uh, it doesn't give you x-ray vision, it doesn't make your vision better than it would be with glasses or contacts, but it's to get rid of the glasses and contacts with good vision. There are different types of refractive surgery and we'll talk about the different options that you have. Uh, there are two parts of the eye you can focus on when you're doing refractive surgery. There's the lens and the cornea. Um, with the lens, uh, there are a couple things you can do. There's refractive cataract surgery for older patients. There's refractive lens exchange for younger patients who are uh, very high prescriptions that don't qualify for LASIK or PRK. Um, there's also implantable calmer lenses, ICLs, which can be placed in front of your natural lens. It can also be used for young patients with um, high prescriptions. Um, once you move on from the lens, you move on to the cornea, the front window of the eye. And within that category, you have a couple options as well. Uh, there's PRK, uh, which, is the, which was the precursor to LASIK. Uh, very common in the military. It is where you rub off the epithelium or the front surface of the eye. You use a laser to reshape the cornea to get rid of refractive air. And then you allow those cells to grow back. So why would you do PRK? What is the benefit of PRK? There's no flap, so you don't have to worry about um, flap dislocation, you don't have to worry about infection uh, at the flap interface, etc. So uh, patients that are good candidates for that are anyone with a corneal scar. If they've had an infection on the, the eye and had a scar before, they might be a candidate for that. Patients with thin corneas, uh, PRK is a good option. And sometimes after cataract surgery or after LASIK, you can do PRK as a touch-up to, to even out the prescription. Um, the negative on PRK is that um, the, there can be a little bit of pain in the first few days as the epithelium heals or as the outer surface heals. And it takes longer to get your best vision. So it takes about a week uh, for that, that to fully heal and takes up to a month to get your best vision. LASIK is the most common refractive procedure done. Um, LASIK is where you use two separate lasers. The first laser is to make a flap. Um, we then lift that flap and a second laser is used to reshape the uh, cornea to eliminate the refractive air. Um, so what are the benefits of LASIK? Uh, LASIK is quick. Um, you, the whole procedure only takes a, a few minutes. You're there longer than that, but the whole procedure only takes a few minutes. Um, minimal pain or discomfort uh, and fast visual recovery. So most patients coming in the next day are seeing really well or seeing a lot better. Um, and that's, that's why it's such a popular procedure. Everything in medicine is about the risks and benefits. And so uh, when you're deciding on whether LASIK is LASIK, PRK, or any of the refractive procedures are a good fit for you, that's what we have to do is we have to weigh the individual risks and benefits. For some patients, they're perfect candidates and they're very low risk. Other candidates might have a few risk factors and we'll talk about that at your individual consultation. Um, and, and that'll help us decide whether it's a good fit for you. Let's talk about the process of the LASIK consultation. First, we'll put you in touch via phone with our LASIK coordinator. Uh, she'll go over some of the, the details about cost and what to expect. Um, you do have to be out of your contacts for two weeks prior to the consultation so that we have accurate measurements for, for the procedure. Um, so the first step is to get those measurements. The three machines that we use, uh, one is called the eye design. It's one of the most uh, up-to-date wavefront guided topography integrated machines is so that we can customize the treatment to your eye. We also use two different topographies uh, to look at the corneal curvature, to look for risk factors that would make you not a good candidate. We like to rule out anything that would make you um, not a candidate and then talk about what the options are for you. Once you have those measurements, you'll come see uh, either my myself or one of the other LASIK surgeons. Uh, we will go through the risks and benefits, your individual uh, refraction and results from those imaging tests to determine if you're a candidate and which ones you're candidates for. During that initial consultation, we'll do a complete eye exam. We'll evaluate the cornea, the lens, the retina, the nerve to make sure that there are no other uh, risk factors for eye disease that would preclude you from being a candidate for refractive surgery. 
Once you've had the consultation and we think that, and we agree that you're a good candidate, we will uh, have you meet with our surgical coordinator and she'll help to get you scheduled for a date that's convenient for you. We then see you at post-op day one, week one and month one, and then after that, depending on the interval at three, six and 12 months or as needed. A lot of patients after a month feel like they're seeing really well and we, we space out the visits. So LASIK and refractive surgery overall is very safe. It's very common. Uh, it's one of the things we specialize in here at the Virginia Eye Institute. We do a lot of patients with very good outcomes. We discuss the different risks that are out there and it is important to keep those in mind, but overall it is a very safe procedure. Another common question we get is about what to expect after refractive surgery. It does depend on the procedure. So with LASIK, it's a very quick recovery. We see on the first day, most patients drive themselves to the appointment the next day. Uh, you will have some scratchiness and dry eye symptoms, but those will improve over the course of the first week. If you found this video valuable or you're interested in seeing if you're a candidate for LASIK or refractive surgery, go ahead and visit our website. There's a LASIK test that you can take to see if you qualify, and then we'll be in touch with you to talk about the next steps.